Hello, everyone. So in this uh, session, what we will do is we will understand how we can uh, install the artifact using the Docker. So if you see here on this page, on the Confluence page, uh, this is a Docker installation uh, uh, steps which is given here. So let me go to the system requirement first and let's see uh, on the system requirement, what exactly do we need uh, to install the to install the Docker here. So let's go to the system requirement and let's see for Docker, is there any specific thing? Yes. Now see if you, if you see your Docker requirements. So for Docker uh, requirement, uh, what we need is a Docker V18 and above. And uh, uh, that's it. And then you need a machine on it. So I have a machine, which is a Debian machine. So let me sh uh, show you the machine, which is on the GCP right now. So let me go here. Yeah, so this is my machine. Uh, if you see here, this machine is basically uh, a very simple and uh, you can say a minimal configuration what we have here. It is E2 medium. So it is again like I think two core and four GB RAM. And this is a public IP of this and it is using a default network. And so the internal IP for internal communication. And this is a disk uh, which we have uh, attached for 10 GB. And yeah, pretty much about this machine. So now I've connected to this machine using my terminal. So let me go to the terminal here. This is my terminal and uh, yeah, let me go to the home. So this is my home here. Okay, so let's start from here. So now before we start on this machine, what we need is we need a Java on this and we need uh, uh, JDK as well as we need the engine or uh, Docker engine here. So now since this is a Debian, uh, let me, yeah. So for installing the Java uh, in Debian, basically this is the command sudo app. Uh, install uh, uh, default JDK. So I think if this is inst already installed here, so let me see the Java version here. So it is, uh, yeah, it is open JDK 11.0.12. So this is my uh, JDK and let's see the Docker version here. So I have a Docker version. I think it should be, oh, uh, Okay. Okay, so it should be something like this. Okay, so this is like 20. So uh, this is as per requirement, it should be like more than 18.0. So we are good on the Docker and the uh, Java part. So how to install it? So this is the way, this is the command to install the uh, JDK, the latest JDK on the uh, Debian. And to install the Docker, uh, we can go on this link and follow the uh, link or follow the steps for uh, Docker here. So if you see here, install, uh, install the Docker engine on the Debian. So right now my Debian version is Debian Buster here, which is 10. And to install this, uh, this is the two steps. What we have to do is, so just follow all these steps. So do uh, apt, uh, get update and then this this guy, and then using this curl command, it will go and uh, add some uh, GPG key and all those things. And then once you do all these three steps here, then you have to go and do this. Uh, this is basically the ultimate, uh, this is the uh, step where it goes and uh, install the Docker engine here. Now, once you do this, uh, you can again test the hello, uh, the Docker hello run command, uh, hello world command here. So it should basically go and fetch all the images of the hello world from the uh, Docker hub and uh, it should, uh, spin up the container here. So this is how you can go and install the Docker. So we have installed uh, JDK, we have installed the Docker here. So these two things are already here on my machine. So I've already done this to save some time here. And I've given the steps as well as the link here, so which can be used to uh, install the JDK as well as for Docker. Now let's go to the uh, steps. Okay, so now let's see here how to how we can go and install uh, the artifact using the Docker here. So the first step is to make the directory here. So there is a JFrog home, and in that we need a directory artifact where an etc. So this is I've already done this. So let me show you. Uh, so let me do the echo here. So this is my uh, Java uh, JFrog, my, my JFrog home directory. And inside this, I've already created the artifactory. It should have artifactory. Let me list the folders here. Okay, so this is my I'm in JFrog and then artifactory then where come on here so this is what it is so we i have already i already have these uh you can say folder structure and in the inside where we have a etc here 
Okay, so we are good. And then uh, it's asking to go on this uh, etc uh, folder. So we are here right now, and then we can just see the file here. Okay, so let's see what is the system.yml. So this is a blank file. So nothing right now as of here. So it's asking to make a directory, then go to the directory and do a, a create a file, system.yml file, and then uh, finally do the chain or uh, change the owner here. And to make sure the uh, the where command, the where folder, basically it has the uh, uh, the user group as well as the the user as well as the the group ID and the user ID should be the uh, should be set accordingly. So now what I've done here is in my case this was failing here. So what I did is so let me show you the command what I used it. So uh, yeah. So what so what we can do here is uh, since it is failing, it was failing for me. And uh, what I did is the step, the workaround was, so let me copy this. So let me copy this guy here. So it goes here. So I just, yeah. So you can do something of this kind. So take your user ID and then you can put your user ID and then run this command accordingly on this folder. So this minor minus R is basically a recursive. So any folder inside where will have, will be owned by this user and this is the group again the same user so once we are done this uh this with this step this is not required because we're not doing on the mac machine and then this is the final command so now this there are multiple tabs here if you see here so pro command open source and c plus plus so uh, since my i'm going with the open source so you can directly take this command and directly run it so now what is happening in this command is this is a docker command uh, which is a run command which basically goes and pulls the uh, the latest OSS, you can say uh, the image from the specific path and then uh, spin up a container with the name Artifactory. And then it is exposing two ports, 8081 and 8082 here. And these two ports, as it is explained here, port 8081 is for the Artifactory REST API and 82 is used for all the other users. And this is what they're doing is, uh, they are trying trying to map the uh, the Docker, uh, uh, the container path. Uh, this is the inside the container path and, and then uh, they are mapping this to the uh, on the uh, on the local disk or on the local uh, you can say server so this is a mapping of the uh, you can say the variable or uh, the path uh, they have done from the uh, container to the the local uh, host machine so once you run this command so in my case i've already run the command so my container should be up and running so let me go back to my screen here and then what we can do we can see docker ps minus a okay so i need sudo docker ps minus a so if you see here yeah this is artifactory and this is my uh the images uh the container is up and running here and if you see the port which is exposure is 8081 and 8082 okay and uh yep and this is the uh, latest you can say oss which, which we have basically pulled from the uh from the docker hub so now uh the issue what i faced one of the issue what i faced here was uh when, when i was running the docker uh, it was giving me the error because this folder uh i think this is this is a known issue with the uh with this image so what i've done is yeah so on this uh, on this folder if you see here where where folder what i've done is i've changed the uh changed the the permission on this folder as 777 so read and execute by anyone and then minus r and where command so this is basically a command needs to be remembered uh, or this chain needs to be remembered because once you if you're not doing this somehow it's not able to uh, bring up the uh, the container because it doesn't have a right to go and write on this specific uh, where folder and inside the where etc folder so that's the reason this was a workaround given online uh, by a couple of people there so i've used this and uh, after doing this command after running this command so let me just note down this command here yeah, so I've already, I have already, uh, I, have, I have this command here uh, with me. So this command will help you out to uh, remove those errors. And uh, while uh, spinning up the container, it will be able to write multiple files in this specific location and uh, your Docker should be up and running. So now what we can do is uh, we can go. So once you, so once you basically make sure your container is up and running, uh, you can go and access the, the public IP. So let me go to the public IP here okay so this is my public ip yep 
so this is a public ip of my uh of my vm and then 882 is a uh, port and this is what i can see here so yep it loaded uh admin and password is a password okay so what we can do is we can just go and play around with this we can just see the logs of this specific container here and see what exactly it says here okay so these are my logs here so up till now everything is good so let's see if it if we do something here if it mm -hmm. okay so basically this log will help you out if there is some problem you can go in this log and you can uh, you can go and see okay if there is any error coming up with these logs or uh, if there is something uh, so when i was getting those specific read write errors uh, i can see a lot of error here which is saying since I, I i don't have a permission to write on this specific folder so which gives me a hint and clue we'll have to go and change the permission here okay so i think uh this is it with the uh with installing the uh docker uh with installing the artifactory uh, using the docker here and if you see here yep this is this is the last command uh where you can go and just go and see the lock in the artifactory so hopefully this was helpful and it made sense here and added value so thanks for watching thank you very much